A Lafayette man is in jail tonight facing a preliminary charge of murder after another man's death on the city's north side. Investigators are not releasing the victim's name until after the autopsy is complete. A family member who contacted News 18 believes the victim is Ricky Couch, a man in his 50s. James Bixler, a 25-year-old man, is the man who faces a preliminary charge of murder. News 18's Bernie Tyner is live on the 1500 block of North 16th Street with reaction from neighbors after the arrest. Brittany? Dan, Lafayette police say the body of the victim was discovered by a neighbor who went to check on the man living at the home. Another neighbor told me tonight it's a relief knowing that somebody has been taken into custody. I saw a toddler being carried out, and what I told my boss was it looked to me like this may be a case of child abandonment. Kevin Fleming woke up Wednesday morning to police cars and an ambulance outside the home he was staying at on the 1500 block of North 16th Street. And I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear any noise last night, and I didn't even hear a single siren this morning. He says he was surprised to find out that Lafayette police were investigating the suspicious death of a white male inside the home next door. We got a call from a female who came over to check on him and, and found him uh, inside the house. Police say a one-year-old boy was also found in the home. He was taken to the hospital to be checked out and the Department of Child Services was contacted. Investigators say he is not related to the victim who police are not identifying until after the autopsy, which is scheduled for Thursday morning. News 18 was contacted by someone who identified themselves as a family member who says the victim is Ricky Couch, a man in his 50s. Police arrested 25-year-old James Bixler of Lafayette on a preliminary charge of murder Wednesday afternoon. Fleming says it comes as a relief to know somebody is in custody. It's good to know. Hopefully they have the right person because I would hate to think that it would happen to anybody else on the street. Lafayette police tell me they will stay on the property throughout the night to make sure the home is secure in case if any more evidence needs to be collected. The investigator said earlier today they do not believe this was a random act. Reporting live in Lafayette, Bernie Tyner, News 18.